Hey students, it's Ms. Tron. Um, hope you had a lot of fun with your lesson on color. I've seen some wonderful work. Um, this week we're just going to move on with our lesson and talk about a few different options you have for the week. Okay, so now let's review our art vocabulary. So first off, our first vocabulary word is mandala. Mandala is art having a radial design. The mandala comes from or originates in Asia. When we use the term radial balance, we're just saying that something is balanced around a center point, just like the snowflake and also like the mandalas. Last week we talked about color families and how color families can draw the viewer's eye to certain parts of your art. And the very first day we started drawing the mandala, we talked about all kinds of lines and shapes. So our new vocabulary word for the week is assemblage. And assemblage is an art word meaning sculpture made with found objects. You probably remember making or talking about assemblage last spring, if you were with me last spring. Okay, so your first option is for those kids that were actually drawing their mandala on a plate. If you would like to continue on with the project, those of you that drew the, on the plate, you, you could, if you like to, do another one. Draw another mandala and color it in. So that's option one. So when I was going through my email, looking at the photos, I noticed some students made their mandala on a styrofoam plate. Um, that might not work for a shaker because a styrofoam can break more easily than a stiff paper plate. You could try it if you want to, but it might not work. Also, if you're making the shaker instrument, save both the plates, and I will demonstrate how to put them together next week with yarn and ribbon. Your second option is to draw another mandala on a piece of paper and color it in, thinking about color schemes. Now, the reason I have these different ones here is that everyone's on a different level. Some of you might be drawing a little bit more like this, and some of you might be drawing a little bit more like this based on your grade level, but that's okay. Another thing that you can do is make a radial design with found objects. Um, this is actually an assemblage. If you were with me last year in school, you probably remember quite a bit about assemblage, but you can just find some found objects in your home and put them together into a radial design. Your fourth option is to make a radial design assemblage with objects found in nature. With option four, you can go around your yard or your neighborhood and find some interesting elements. This uh, radial design has palm fronds, it has some dollar weeds, some rocks, some sand, and it was just really a lot of fun to do. Resource is 40 minutes long. If you finish your art early, feel free to look up some online drawing tutorials, free draw, do another kind of art, make a craft, maybe even do something kinesthetic, such as taking a walk or do some deep breathing. Um, your teachers need that 40 minutes of planning time to more effectively meet your needs. When you're finished with your art, please send me a photo of your work to my email address. Um, I am trying my best to email you back. Um, I'm teaching the face-to-face -face classes or brick-and-mortar classes right now, so I may not get back to you, but I am seeing your work, and seeing your work is making my day. I love seeing it. Lastly, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate you and your family and your effort trying to get through Duval Homeroom. I know it's not easy. In fact, my son's in Duval Homeroom, so I know how complicated it is. Also, I miss you so much when I see your names come up in my um, 
email feed and your art. It just makes me miss you so much. And I wish I could see you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, now it's time to go make your art. Happy creating. And I will post a new lesson next week.